In this problem, we're told a spring has a spring constant K of 82 newton meters. How much must this spring be compressed in order to store 35 joules of potential energy? So in order to solve this problem, there's a formula you need to know. So you need to know that U, which is basically the potential energy of the spring, right? So the energy in the spring is going to be equal to 1 half Kx squared. So U is the potential energy or the energy in the spring. K is going to be uh, the spring constant, right? So this is just a constant, and they do give us this number. And then X is going to be... Uh, the amount the spring or the distance that the spring is compressed. It can be also be stretched, but in this problem, we're just talking about compression. So X in this case is just the distance that the spring is compressed. So notice what they're asking us. They're trying to find uh, how much the spring should be compressed. So essentially what we're trying to do is solve for this X variable. And so the way we're going to solve for it is by plugging in different numbers. So they give us U, right? So U is basically uh, 35 joules, right? Because they tell us this is the amount of energy, uh, the, the stored if it's compressed, right? Some distance, that's what we're trying to find. And so we know U is going to be equal to 35. And then K, they also give, right? So K is going to be equal to 82 Newton meters. And so essentially, if we have these two numbers, what we can do is just plug them in, and we're going to be able to solve for X, right? Because that's what we're trying to find, the amount it should be compressed, and that's what X is. So if we go ahead and plug it in, uh, 35 is equal to 1 half times K, which is 82 times x squared. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this 1 half. So 2 times 35 is just 70. So 70 equals 82 times x squared. And then we're solving for x, so divide both sides by 82. x squared is equal to 70 over 82. And then we can square root both sides to get rid of the, the x squared, or the square right here. So x equals the square root of 70 over 82. If you go ahead and do this, you're going to get it equals 0.9239 and so I'm going to round it to this place right here so 0.92 and then it's going to become a 4 so 0.924 and then this is a distance right and so we use newton meters right so our distance the distance metric we're using is meters so it's going to be 0.924 meters so this right here is going to be your answer and hopefully you found this video useful